Today, modern agricultural progress, such as fertilization, irrigation, and continuous cropping has greatly influenced crop growth, yield, and quality. Agriculture has changed dramatically in the last 10 to 15 years due to new technologies. Most of these technologies have been in equipment, seed, and IT. At Concept Agritech, we found an opportunity to introduce new technologies in fertilizer and biology. These technologies have allowed farmers to farm more with less while also increasing yield and quality. However, at the same time, over-application of fertilizers are leading to decreased soil health and an increased potential for runoff into streams and rivers. As more farmers realize the dangers associated with over-fertilization, companies like Concept Agritech are using biological and fertility technologies to help increase soil health and crop yields, while also decreasing fertilizer inputs. Concept Agritech is an agricultural technology company that creates biological and fertility technologies for farmers. Our mission at Concept Ag is to bring farmers new technologies in fertility through biology, chemistry, and agronomy. When I started Concept Ag in 2010, the mission was to bring new concepts to the farm. And also there wasn't anyone putting the biology, the chemistry, and the agronomy all together. And so that really is what's differentiated Concept Agritech is that we put all that together and we help manage those products. What we've done is we've dramatically increased our customer's soil health. And what this does is when you increase soil health, you decrease the amount of synthetic fertilizers that are needed. So not only are our farmers starting to see benefits in their soils, seeing benefits in their yield, their ROIs, but also we're seeing a positive effect in their soils, which is a positive effect on the environment. We're seeing less runoff, which causes epoxy, because we're putting out less synthetic fertility. Concept Agritech's technology is cutting edge because we employ asymmetrical thinking. Uh, everybody's familiar with the term thinking outside of the box. Well, if you believe that there's a box that you must think out of, your thinking is already constrained by an artificial box anyway. We don't believe there's a box. This allows us to follow trains of thought that many consider unconventional or kind of out there, but finding those solutions through employing those types of thought processes have allowed us to come up with solutions that are highly innovative, that are really helping our industry today. Good evening and welcome to Rural America Live. I'm Tammy Arender. They are a leading biotechnology and fertilizer company who's committed to creating new innovations in soil and plant fertility. And for more than a decade, Concept Agritech has always maintained a farmer-driven focus. Joining us tonight on set is Concept Agritech president and CEO, Trey Curtis, who also founded the company, Daniel Hensley, vice president of agronomy and sales, and Bert Riggin, an agronomist and certified crop advisor with Concept Agritech. Welcome to you all. Looking so forward to visiting with you guys tonight. Let's jump right into things, Trey, and explain a little bit about Concept Agritech and what it is you do. Well, thank you. Uh, so what we are is we are a biological and fertility technology company uh, that handles it a little bit different than most. We start with agronomy and start with the farmer first mentality. Uh, and work our way back. And talk about how this even came about. What sparked this, this initial concept? Well, in uh, 2010, uh, we saw a void. Uh, there was not a lot of biology being used back then, uh, and there certainly was not any technology in uh, fertility. So we saw an opportunity to, to get into that market, and it is um, built that with hiring great agronomists, great salespeople, great infrastructure, great people uh, behind in distribution, as well as chemists and biologists, and have built a really uh, technology company for ag. I always say you're as good as that team you surround yourself with, and it looks like you've done that. Now, Bert and Daniel, let's talk about what drew you to this company. Well, it was, uh, I was working for a, a, another firm, and I was a, an agronomist, and <clears throat> really wasn't going the way I wanted to. So I came and talked to Trey 
And he said, well, right now we're not really at a place to bring on somebody else. It was about a year later. So I had a, a whole year to study everything. And, and what really grabbed me was how Concept Agritech approached uh, the farmer and his needs, what, what, what the you know, company ethos was. And it was, I felt it was an opportunity for me to basically follow my calling and, and to be an agronomist. And a year later, Trey gave me a call and I accepted. Daniel? Yeah, you know, I, I, it was eight years ago and I worked for another company as well. And, and Trey was a very small company. You know, he had himself, an intern, and a part-time uh, office lady, you know. And, and, but I seen the potential that, that Concept Agritech had. So uh, I was just really excited about his company. I liked the way Trey done business. And, you know, and I, I just gave him a call one day and I said, hey, have you ever thought about hiring an agronomist? And he said, believe it or not, that's my next hire. That's what I want to do. So I was Trey's first full-time employee, um, and, and the rest is history. You know, here we are. Sounds like when dreams and passions align, it's always good to bring those forces Absolutely. together. And it looks yeah. like that's exactly what you've done. Trey, talking about the mission and the values of this company, let's, let's talk a little bit more about that and how it has evolved since its inception. <laughs> yeah, and, and Daniel's right. Uh, you know, it was me, a pickup truck and a trailer when I first started. And, and now we, uh, you know, we have employees coast to coast and even, you know, sell overseas. Uh, but, but we initially started as a distributor of liquid fertilizers and found out that there was, there were some gaps and holes in there. And, and we wanted to make them better because our farmers were saying, we need this, we need that. And, and it just wasn't in the market. And uh, so we hired chemists and we hired biologists and we hired great agronomists. That way we, we could start what we call the ABCs, agronomy, biology, and chemistry, because that's what our core values are, is, is, is first the farmer, first agronomy, and then create the technologies that help him. That is fantastic. Now, of course, we know you guys came here to talk about the company, but we want to hear from the farmers. Let's hear from two farmers on why they chose Concept Agritech. James Allen here, uh, Winona, North Carolina, uh, coming to you to tell you about my experience with Concept Agritech. The people at Concept, along with the company, are some of the best that I've encountered. Um, they've helped me achieve many, many goals that I've wanted to achieve in uh, my farming career here in the last couple years. Hey guys, this is Matt Miles with Extreme Ag, uh, McGee, Arkansas, DJ County. We're pretty excited of, about working with, with uh, with Trey and Seth and Bert and Daniel. You know, they've got a really, really rock star team. Uh, do a great job. They come down when we need them. We need products in a hurry. Uh, they're a long way from here. We always seem to get them if, if they have to leave in the middle of the night. Always love hearing from farmers out in the field about what is really going on and they yeah. sound like Concept Agritech is helping them, and that's what we're here to talk about tonight. But we know that there are many biology and fertilizer companies on the market. So what makes Concept Agritech different? Yeah, so, you know, we, we're really farmer-driven. You know, that's something that we can say about our company, and we, we try to really focus on the farmer when we come up with new products, um, new technologies. You know, um, another thing about us is all of our employees, for the most part, come from a farm. So we really understand what that farmer needs. You know, when they say, hey, I need this, then we can relate to that. And it helps us uh, t to get the right product to, to the farmer, helps us to answer the right questions for those guys. And, uh, and that really helps us to stand out. It makes a difference when they know that you know where they're coming from, and it makes it very relatable. Bert, let's talk about if, if you could say Concept Agritech specializes in just a few things, what would you say to that? Well, you know, being an agronomist, I would say agronomy is the, the first thing, um, because it all starts with air, providing sound agronomic advice and drilling down to really understand what that farmer's hard burn is and what we could possibly do to, to help. You know, the, the other good things that we, we do really well is when we are presented with a need is to try to find out how we can fill it. And, you know, not only do it 
economically, but make sure that it's going to benefit the farmer in the long run. Sounds like you guys don't back down from a challenge. <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> you take it on. Kind of you welcome. take it on yeah. for sure. That is awesome. Now, Trey, your company's growth over the past 11 years has been very, very impressive. What do you attribute that success and growth to? Well, uh, it starts with great people. You know, we have a great sales force, great people in the warehouse, uh, agronomist and um, distribution. You can't do it with, without, without all of them. Um, but at the end of the day, it's about ROI to the farmer. I mean, because if we don't give them a return on their investment, they're not going to do business with us, nor would I ask them to. Uh, like Daniel said, we all come from the farm. Um, and, and I would never sell somebody I wouldn't sell my dad. You know, and like I've always said, I, I don't think if you give me a dollar, I shouldn't give you back a dollar because then you're just breaking even. I'm wasting your time. Mm -hmm. I should give you two, three or four. And, and that's our passion is, is to make sure our, our farmer customers are profitable. And, and farmers these days, the inputs are already so expensive. That return on investment is critical. So you definitely have to make it, you know, worth their time. You know, something that you brought out in the piece that we opened the show with, talking about that soil health, when you said that when that soil health is better, you need less of the synthetic fertilizer, that struck a chord with me. And I believe that that would strike a chord with every farmer out there. How important is that? Well, a lot of people talk about soil health. We've been talking about soil health for over 11 years. And the thing about it is it's not just about biology. What a lot of people don't understand, it's the biology and it's the balancing the chemistry in the soil. And you have to put those two together because if you don't, your biology doesn't work right. It's not just a matter of putting a cover crop out there or throwing some biology out there. You have to make the whole thing work together. And, and these guys, they can talk a little bit more about it than I can, but that's what they do. Well, it's become such a buzzword these yeah. days, especially with what's going on with, with in, in our environment. So it is critical that this works, but it's got to work for the farmer because we've got to continue to feed more people, feed and clothe more people. Mm -hmm. So how is that all interacting and all coming together? Well, like we, we've said and you've heard, you know, the ABCs of farm. I mean, the agronomy, the biology and the chemistry. And essentially, you know, we, we spend a great deal of time looking at soil tests to try to understand the chemistry that's going on, find out, you know, where the, the greatest limiting factor is. And really, we, we're, we've taken our cue from nature. You know, in environments where we don't touch it, it, it grows. It puts on fruit and mass and it continues to go and there's no fer fertility or irrigation or anything like that. And, you know, that was how we built our biological was going into all of those zones from coast to coast and border to border and putting together a consortium that was gonna work. And like Trey said, um, having everything work in harmony, that's, that's the key to the whole thing. It's a program, it's not a, a product. You wanna add to yeah, that? Yeah, it's, it's just a balance. You know, I'm, I'm pretty simple on it. And that's what it is, it's a balance. We have to balance, you know, the, the soil chemistry along with the biology. So, so when we can do that, everything else just falls into place, you know, and it, 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 that sounds fairly simple, but it's not, you know, it, it, you have to balance everything. You do. And it takes some effort to do that. Yes. We wish it had just happened naturally, right. but, it, but it doesn't yes. always do that. Yep. All right. Well, before we go to break, we do want to open our phone lines. Let me give you that number, 877 731-6733. You can call in with your questions. The experts here from Concept Agritech here to answer them. And we are looking forward to you becoming a part of this show. You are the most important part of this program tonight. So if you got a question, call in 877-731-6733. Rural America Live continues after this. Welcome back to Rural America Live. I'm Tammy Arinder. So glad you're with us. And joining us tonight, the leading biotechnology and fertilizer company, Concept Agritech, to talk about how to increase profitability and maximize yields. And we're taking your questions tonight, 877-731-6733. Call in. We would love to hear from you. Now, Bert and Daniel, we've talked a little bit about the ABCs. I love that. The Concept Agritech's ABCs and its agronomy biology and chemistry. 
Let's expand upon that. What all does that entail? Well, I mean, if you have it null story, it's kind of a reoccurring theme with us because it's so core to how we do business. Um, a lot of farmers, when we, we talk about the ABCs and we, we come to them and we have a big agronomic discussion, um, they're shocked because most of them, you know, the first question is, well, how, how much does it cost to have you do this? Right. And it's like, no, that's, I get paid a full-time salary. This is my job. Um, a lot of guys have gotten to the point to where they get the soil test, but they're not in tune with what's really going on with their field. So having somebody that is non-biased to be able to sit down and take a look at the soil test to get that agronomic portion set up. So that mm -hmm. then that leads into the chemistry part because everything's chemistry, whether it's you know redux chemistry or biochemistry, everything that goes on in the soil and the plant is chemistry. And being able to explain why those chemistries are important is a big thing. And then, of course, you know, the biology. Once you get the agronomic portion out of the way and you've taken a look at that chemistry, then you can come in and make the recommendations for the proper biology to be used and the timing that it needs to be used so that everything meshes together and the farmer can see the results. That's the whole big thing. And one thing, you know, a lot of people want to always key on yield. But when you're trying to, to balance soil health and plant health, the soil is a large organism and you can't change it overnight. So you have to be patient and, and see the building process of it. And that's real key, you know, to, you know, our program. We, we actually encourage the guys, you know, say, hey, you're going to employ the biology. Give me three years. We're not going to hurt you, but in three years, you'll be able to see a marked difference in these soil test results that you're seeing, as well as every, you know, a lot of other different things. So, I mean, you know, agronomy, biology, and chemistry, it, it's a recurring theme through everything we do because we are not a product-driven company. We are a program-driven company, and mating up all three of those creates those programs that benefit the farmer. It's like building blocks, the ABCs. I have that picture in my mind because once you build on something good, then you can make it even better. Yes, ma'am. And as you keep building on and on. Now, the ABCs, of course, are vitally important, and, and you work with a lot of different crops, but do you work with specific crops more than others? Yeah, you know, what? corn and soybeans is, is obviously a big part of our business, but, you know, we are continually working with new stuff, um, produce, you know, we're really, can really make a difference in produce, you know. Um, any kind of row crop you can think of from cotton and rice, corn, soybeans, heck, you know, turf. Turf is a big one. We do a lot of turf, you know. So, so there's a lot of crops that we touch. Bert and I do recommendations for, gosh, I don't know. There's so, I can't even tell you all the crops, melons, um, trees, tree farms, citrus, lots of things that we do. So so really, you know, we, we like a challenge. Sometimes we hear stuff, you know, that we've never that we've never done recommendations on and we just jump on it and go. So we don't we don't turn anything down. We like it. Well I I've been doing some research myself on different specialty crops and yeah. you can really be surprised at what can be grown where if you have the right soil health That's and right. that chemistry. Um, I've heard both of you mention about ex explaining, going to the farmer and explaining how this works and, and why this works. Why is it so important to answer that farmer's why? Well, in the industry in general, you know, farmers tend to use products sometimes and we may look at those products. We may go through their, their program, as Bert talked about, with them. We say, why are you using that? Well, they can't tell you why. It's just because. Right. You that's know, it's just, just it. It's right. just because. And that's not good. That's not good for the farmer. That's not good for anything. So we really try hard, one, to find out what the need is. If we can find out what the need is, then we will always tell them why we recommend something. You know, and it's sometimes it's hard to say always. But I can tell you that if we recommend something, we will back it with why you need it, and it's science. It I mean, right. we, we take a lot of pride in that, and, and, and it's, 
And we want to be able, the farmer deserves that. Right, and that's, they, they've got to be able to depend on that and yes. be able to take that to the bank, so to speak. Yeah. We have our first caller tonight. We have John from Tennessee. John, who's your question for? Oh, for all of you, uh, we've got uh, 135 acres in cow calf operation, around 90, a little bit over 90 cows and calves right now. And is it a good time to put the liquid fertilized on the fields, on the pastures right now? And uh, do I hang on or hang up now? <laughs> Um, I, I think uh, you can hang up and listen to the answer. Um, I, I want to. Do one of you guys want to take that question? Sure. Right. I'll do that. Sure. Um, if you're if you're going to be you know feeding them out in pasture, letting them graze, um, obviously uh, you need to be careful about what you're putting out so that you don't create any issues. But uh, now's the time that you would want to supplement and feed that that hay crop so that the cattle can. You know, number one, it will survive grazing, and number two, it will give a, you know, a good uh, value for that grazing as far as protein content and digestibility and things like that. So it is important to have somebody take a look at what's going on there and make, you know, good recommendations so that you can maximize that because grazing is a major component in, in livestock. Well, I was just going to ask, you know, we were talking about row crops, yep. and especially crops, but hay and forage, is that something you guys deal with as well? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Silage. Good. I mean, you name it. Very like good. Daniel says, we get calls all the time for things that... You've not dealt with before, but you're like, let's let's look into it, and we're going to find out. Matter of fact, that, that kind of leads me into my next question, because you've got so much experience among among yourselves. How do you approach that problem-solving experience? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's, uh, I, I used the word, the, the phrase before, it's, it's asymmetrical thinking. You know, the, the buzzword in the corporate world is, you know, thinking outside the box. And from our point of view, if you have to think outside of a box, then you've already boundered yourself. So we don't even believe there is a box. And that really frees us up to approach a problem from a multitude of angles, things that from, from viewpoints and, and angles that most of the industry don't even consider simply because it, 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 it's not the norm. And so it, it allows us a tremendous amount of flexibility. And whether it's Trey or, or Daniel or, or whatever, I mean, we're all, we're all committed enough that we're not afraid to be challenged by the other. So if you put out an idea, the first thing you're going to get is, well, why? why? Why do we need to do that? Or how are we going to do that? And, you know, I mean, that, that, that breeds a tremendous amount of value for the company by not being forced to stay in this lane. Right. All right. I, I love that because you are going to take on whatever they bring to the table. There is, you don't ever say no. Yeah, we, we may say, it. I don't know. Right, but yeah. we'll find out. But we'll find out. You that will certainly right. do that. All right, we're going to learn more about some of these custom programs that Concept Agritech has designed. Take a look. We try to build a complete comprehensive program that allows us to target fertilizer application, to keep it in the root zone, and keep the plant's availability at an all-time high. By doing this, we tend to reduce the amount of fertilizer overall that goes out into the field, and therefore, in areas that are sensitive, where hypoxia has been an issue, we can help reduce that problem. Our phone lines are open. We would love to hear from you. If you have a question for anyone here at uh, Concept Agritech, we'd love to answer that. So give us a call, 877-731-6733. We'd love to hear from you and make you a part of the show. Now, Daniel, Concept Agritech, of course, is more than just a fertilizer company, obviously, you, but you don't just sell products. I heard you mention before, Bert, you too, about it's a it's a program and you meet the farmer's fertility needs, which of course means there's a process. Yep. Walk us through that process. Yeah, so we, we like to start with soil test. It's, it's vitally important. We need a soil test. And not only do we just need that soil test, we need a complete soil test. So we want to see a soil test that has 
obviously your NPs and Ks on there. But we want to see base saturations. We want to see micronutrients. We want to see all these things on that soil test because that gives us a really good snapshot of, of the, um, you know, the, the, the shape that their soil is in. So we start there. That's a really good place that we start. Once we get that soil test, we ask a tremendous amount of questions. You know, we want to know um, what are they currently doing? How many passes do they make through the field? Um, lots of questions that we ask, you know. So, um, once we get all of that figured out, then we start to put together that program. One, we, we want to be uh, most efficient for the farmer. That means with the products applied, the passes through the field, we take all of these things into consideration as we build that program. You know, we don't just recommend our product. You know, we may recommend other things. You know, we, it definitely has to fit the farmer's need. And that's what we do. Interesting. Is, yeah. You're reminding me of maybe like when you go to the doctor, you don't really know what's wrong. You just know something's not exactly right or you could feel yeah. better. Yeah. And there's not just one pill that fits all. That's right. you got to have that blood test yep. and find out what's going on. So you guys kind of have the prescription, so to speak, in whatever a farmer needs yep. and that fertility needs. Now, Trey, we talked to you about Concept Agri Agritech and how it really uses technology and we know that technology has become a game changer in agriculture in so many ways from the drones and the GPS and everything going on and all the equipment now what made you get into that as far as the technology side of things well I guess I've always had a kind of a background a little bit in, in chemistry and biology from a science aspect and seeing a void there and seeing products that to be honest with you weren't very effective and to make the products that were on the market more effective, there needed to be new technologies. So we spent a lot of time, effort, and money in, in creating those technologies, like our biotech technology. So our biology is, is more effective. I mean, it comes alive within minutes of touching the soil. Minutes, not weeks or months. Uh, same way with our foliar technologies. They get in the, the plant, not just in the leaf, but through the xylem and phloem and get to where the fruiting nodes or to the root where it's needed. And uh, without those technologies, you just don't have as effective product. And growers need, when they spend the money, right? just like if it was my money, I spend the money, I want a product that's gonna give me a good ROI, that's gonna be effective. Without those technologies, it's just not there sometimes. That's right, you can, you can feel that you're, you're gonna be left behind if you don't get on this technology train, so to speak. You've got, yes. you've got to be able to do that. Daniel, let's go back to you and talk about some of these technologies as well. The technologies and the development and the timelines. Walk us through all that. Sure. So, you know, we started, um, really our timeline was about eight, nine years ago. You know, so, so we have evolved through this time. And, you know, some of the technology that we've created, we've, we're touching the soil. We're touching the roots. We're touching, um, you know, the leaf. There are lots of things we wanted to focus on with these technologies. Um, one of is biotech. That's our biology tech, you know, technology side. The, another one is is our root tech. Root tech is is just that. It's it's something. It's it's a technology that our chemists developed that helps develop the root system. It's vitally important when we talk about bacteria and, and fungi. Uh, a Penatech is another technology. Penatech is is um, a soil penetrant that we developed. Um, it's something that we use, uh, especially on our soil applied products. Um, Transmax. Transmax is, is one of our, uh, man, we're really proud of Transmax. It's one that took us four years to develop. You know, Transmax is um, in a lot of our foliar stuff, you know, and, and lots of different products, Cowboy, Nutritech, lots, lots of different things that we run Transmax in, but it truly will translocate through the plant. So we're really excited about Transmax. Stress Tech is another one. Um, stress Tech simply um, does just what it says. It helps mitigate stress. So we use that, especially in dry land situations. Um, lots of different areas that we may use the Stress Tech. Um, Nitro Tech is another one. Nitro Tech is a technology that we developed to help stabilize nitrogen. So that's kind of the 30,000 foot view. 
I, wow. I mean, that is so impressive to know that you've already got those, and I'm sure you're already looking at other things as well, and we'll get into that in just a little bit. But if you've got a question about your operation, and if you're even wondering, is, is this too much technology for me? Because I know my dad probably would have been very intimidated by all of this uh, technology talk and the talk of science, but how important it is to your operation and improving your profitability and your yield. So if you've got a question and you're even wondering, would this be for me, then call in 877-731-6733. We would love to hear from you. We'll have more with Concept Agritech in just a moment. Stay with us. Well, if you're just joining us tonight, we have Concept Agritech. We have Trey Curtis, Daniel Hensley, and Bert Riggin. Gentlemen, we have had a great conversation so far, and we're not done. We still have a lot of ground to cover. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, we have another caller. We have Sol from California. Sol, what's your question tonight? Um, is the product available in South Africa and for barley? Uh, I'll answer that. Okay. Uh, currently, we're not uh, registered in South Africa uh, yet. Um, uh, now we do a lot in barley, or we can do a lot yeah. in barley. Oh, yeah. We do a lot of stuff in wheat, which is very similar. Uh, so I would turn that question over to barley for, for the Grammy team. Yeah, yeah. we. I've written prescriptions for barley and just about anything involved in making alcohol. Um, you know, hops, the whole nine yards. Hmm. It's it's uh, like Trey said. It is similar. You know, it, it's it's a grass crop, but we we have experience in that, and you know, we would love to help any way we can. Yeah, like you say, you look into it and you make that prescription of what's going to make it work for that farmer. All right, let's go to Michigan next. John, what's your question? My question is, uh, if there's a lack, of, if you've got drought conditions, and you got a lack of rain or moisture. How do you work with the uh, with irrigation with your chemical stuff? Good question. Yeah, yeah, John. Thank you. So, you know, if you have irrigation, if you have a, a pivot, then we can fertigate through that pivot. Our products work very well going through the pivot. If you have drip irrigation, it also works very well going through that drip irrigation. So, um, heck, we've you know. In the southern part of the United States, where there's a lot of furrow irrigation, where we water down the middles, um, we've put it in the furrow water as well. So, so it mixes very well, and we get a very good response through that irrigation water. So you use their existing equipment. That's sure, absolutely. Great yeah, opportunity. Because one of the things is, is the quality. Uh, you yeah. know, we pride ourselves on the quality of our product. And when you do that and you use that higher quality product, you don't have orifices getting stopped up things getting stopped up in the lines and, and things like that because, uh, you know, not all products are created equal, so you have to be careful. You can't just put anything through there. And we've got a lot of experience of fertigation. Yep. Very good point. Very good point. Don't think you can just take what you've got in your, in your equipment shed right now <laughs> and put it in <laughs> yeah. there. You need somebody that knows what they're doing. So, of course, with biology making such a big splash in agriculture, we need to know what makes Concept Agritech's biology different. Why is it better? Well, um, we started by going to each one of the, the zones that USDA has broken up the nation into. And we took soil samples, we took uh, crop residue, we took uh, samples from you know, natural habitats, native grasses. We, we even got you know, non-pasteurized honey because bees touch everything. And essentially, we provided that material to our microbiologist and he took a look and tried to figure out what were the most prevalent you know, species of biology in all of these different zones and created you know, a, a basic consortium that we have tremendous flexibility to add or remove based on what biological product we want to do. Um, ours is, is very different from the standpoint of it's a comprehensive biological package. Um, we don't specialize in just one mode of action. Uh, there's a lot of biology out there that um, have very few um, microbes in it, and they're either nitrogen fixers or they're phosphorus, uh, you know, uh, releasing microbes. 
we we look at the entire spectrum, not only for you know fixation of nitrogen and release of phosphorus, but also a lot of the you know other macro and micronutrients. Um, a lot of them are just there to provide some of the things that plants need that uh, they don't have to make themselves. Some of the you know the building blocks for you know proteins and amino acids and and things like that. Um, so it's a very comprehensive package. Um, and it gives us great flexibility. You know, we started with the Infura product, the bunch of bugs Infura, you know, um, paired up with the, the BioVate XP, you know, the food source and root stimulant. And from there, from farmer feedback, uh, we developed other products. You know, we, we had too many guys that say, hey, I don't have Infura system. I, I'm not going to put it on there. So what, what can I do with biology? And so we came up with BioRite, you know, and it's the, the, the name is fun because the R-I-T in Write is capitalized because it stands for Rapid Infusion Technology, you know, and that's got biotech and penitech in it. It allows the guys, you know, to take that biology and apply it in a broadcast situation so they still get the benefit of the biology. And then the other, the, that consortium has led us into other things like uh, animal waste mitigation, you know, our Waste Master product. We're working on a, a new product to help, you know, hopefully help the poultry industry and, you know, ammonia reduction. Um, and it all started from that, that mother brew, if you will. Mm -hmm. And based on what feedback we get from the farmers in the different regions, we're able to customize that. So to me, that's what really sets us apart is because we're not just a one trick pony. We have the ability and the flexibility to create that biological product that's going to work for what the farmer needs it to do. Right, very specific to each one's needs. And of course, well, you mentioned the, uh, what is it, bunch of bugs. That is, I love that name, first of all. I hate bugs, but I love that name. <laughs> so we're going to talk about one of their benchmark, uh, benchmark products, and that is bunch of bugs. Take a look at this video. We know how important healthy soil is to your bottom line. And one of the biggest contributors to healthy soil is a thriving, robust biological system. That's why we developed Bunch of Bugs. Bunch of Bugs is a unique blend of beneficial soil microbes that work together to release nutrients tied up in your soil. Conventional farming methods, higher yielding crops, and certain older inorganic fertilizers like anhydrous ammonia wreak havoc on your soil by depleting soil microbes and zapping biological activity. Many farmers today are taking a step back and saying there's got to be a better way to manage soils. Concept Ag's Bunch of Bugs is the answer they've been looking for. Bunch of Bugs supplies live soil microbes that multiply quickly to go to work to mineralize nutrients in your soil and make them available to your crop. Phosphorus, potassium, calcium, and other essential elements are released for plant uptake with enhanced biological activity. And nitrogen-fixing microbes in Bunch of Bugs further enrich the soil, leading to enhanced root growth. Bunch of Bugs contains multiple species of microbes with specific functions, not just one or two species like other biological products. Bunch of Bugs is ideal for row crops or specialty crops, and it's OMRI certified for organic operations. Healthy soil leads to better tilth, increased water and air infiltration, and reduced runoff. Healthy soil also increases your crop's resistance to disease, drought, excessive rainfall, and pests, so you can use fertilizers and pesticides more efficiently. Very good overview of what Bunch of Bugs is all about and how it could be different, though, from the other uh, products on the market. Do you want to expand a little bit on that? Well, like I said, uh, it's it's the diverse consortium that we have, the, the different jobs that the microbes do that really separates it. Um, there are a lot of biological products or things that are labeled as biological that are on the market today. Um, and any of, the, any of your consumers need to be judicious in, in how they approach it. And like Daniel said earlier, be sure and ask the why. You know, why, why is your product gonna work for me? Yeah, and we, you know, we, uh, one of the reasons ours is, is a little different is, is how quickly it comes to life. You know, we take a, take a lot of pride and, and we want that as soon as it goes into the soil, whether that's info or a broadcast application or seed treatment, however that is, 
We want that bacteria and fungi growing and thriving as quickly as possible. So, you know, our bacteria is different, one, in the way that it's, that it's dried down and the way that we handle it. You know, we see our bacteria come to life in minutes after it's been applied, after it's added to water and applied to the soil, where, you know, oftentimes it could take 30 to 60 days. Well, if it takes that long, we've missed our window of opportunity. The farmer lost. Right. So it's very important that ours comes to life very quickly. And that's one of the ways that we are, we are different. That is amazing and so impressive that that is taking place that quickly. Now, Trey, talking about Concept Agritech and the, the foliar products, you mentioned that earlier. Let's go into that a little bit more. Why, what do you have on the market that's different in the foliar area? Well, it would be the Transmax technology to start with. Uh, uh, I'll give you a little example. I was in central Indiana visiting a farmer, and he, he had all these foliar tests on his spreadsheet. And, and, and was showing me that he's been applying boron, and the boron in his tissue test went up, but he never had any yield advantage. And so when I sat back and looked at it, I was like, so you, you, you sprayed boron on your leaf on the crop, you took the leaf off, and you sent it off to see if you sprayed boron on it. Yes, he did. But the problem with that is, and a lot of these, again, it's on the leaf, but it doesn't get inside the stomata. And even if it does, it doesn't translocate through the xylem and phloem to get to where it needs to be. To get, to get the yield increase, you need that in the fruiting nodes, or you need it like in a potato or a peanut, you need it underneath the ground. And so when we created Transmax technology, we started off with a prior flagship product called Calbor. It's a calcium and boron mix, which is very difficult to do in itself. And we tested it on peanuts, and we applied Calbor to the peanuts, and we increased the calcium because everybody knows you cannot spray calcium foliar. It just does not get in the plant. I mean, everybody has ever told us that, right? We can apply cow bore to the plant and increase the calcium in a peanut or in a potato or anything growing underneath the ground up to 30% in a week. That is tremendous, and that, I tell you what, talking about technology, you're putting it to use, putting it in the ground, and we're seeing that benefit there. And of course, 2020 was a very trying year in so many ways, yet Concept Agritech released two new products, one being your first EPA-registered fungicide BioAid. And I know that you tested BioAid last year with some stunning results. Let's take a look. I'd like to speak with you today about uh, one of Concept Ag's products, BioAid. We were fortunate enough to use on uh, my farm this year and the results that we saw were incredible. Um, in the corn trials that we ran against the check, it was over 11 bushel increase. And then against the uh, two of the top fungicides in the country, it outperformed one by eight bushels, outperformed the other by five which uh, at the end of the day with the price point on BioAid versus those, uh, the ROI was through the roof. Um, we also got to use it on uh, soybeans and on the soybean trial versus one of the best fungicides on the market, it outperformed it by five bushels um, to the acre. And then what we saw was we had a huge rain come in. And uh, after that rain, we went back and harvested that cut. And what we saw was the BioAid only lost two bushels to where the other fungicide lost over 10. So, I mean, from an ROI standpoint, um, it, it, it's hard to, you know, uh, beat something like that when you, you do have weather and things like that to come in and you save, you know, over $130 an acre using uh, BioAid. Amazing yield results there for Jamie, straight from the farmer's mouth. Trey, tell us more about BioAid. Well, obviously, we're extremely excited to have our first uh, EPA-registered fungicide, and um, it's been very exciting. Uh, our first, uh, we tested it two years ago uh, on a very limited scale, uh, but we also tested with the University of Georgia and had great results against the top um, competition in peanuts. And then we launched it this year on a on more broad scale all the way across the country on several different crops and had amazing results. And uh, it uh, not only takes care of the disease, but it also has a really good plant health agent to it, as well as Jamie saw in his uh, post, um, um, 
you know, rain event. Right. You know. Yeah. Because who who knew? You know, until you saw that happen, and he saw for himself that even after the rain event, he still had benefits yeah. from that. Yeah. He couldn't stop smiling. I love, that. <laughs> I love it when a farmer smiles like that. All right, we're going to take our next caller right now. We have John from New York. John, what's your question? Hi, Tammy. How are you tonight? I'm great. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Good. Good. Uh, thank you. An excellent show. Uh, I was just wondering, the uh, Bunch of Bugs product that you just had on, uh, can that be used in a organic uh, vegetable operation? Yeah, John, that, that product is OMRI approved, um, so, so we, can, we can definitely help you with that. Um, we have organic farmers pretty much all over the country that's using Bunch of Bugs now, so um, it's, it's the OMRI approved version, and, and yeah, we have that. That is amazing. Trey, did you want to add something to that? Uh, well, we have a couple of other organic products as well. And, um, you know, the neat thing about the Bunch of Bugs, it's a, a, with the way we make it is a dry flowable. We call it Bunch of Bugs DF. And uh, like Daniel said, we were able to have a five-year shelf life, but it's able to come alive within minutes. And um, I don't think there's anything else like it that we've seen on the market. Uh, but we're also able to OMRI approve it. We're able to seed treat it. We're able to broadcast it. We're able to put it in furrow. Uh, so it's very versatile. And, and not only does it do nitrogen, but it also does phosphorus and potassium, micronutrients, plant health, increasing organic matter. And uh, it's just been a phenomenal product. It's really put us on the map. Yeah, what a, what a huge plus there to be able to be using organic farming as well. Of course, now the other product that you introduced is Nutrihance. Let's take a look at this video from an Arkansas trial. Here I am in Northeast Arkansas today. Um, I'm standing in a soybean field or on the edge of one, and I just want to give you a follow up on what we've seen this year. I want to talk about our brand new product called Nutrihance. Um, this is uh, one of our farmers that we actually tried the product on. Um, he had 10 acres that applied foliar at V4 with a quart, 10 acres applied foliar at V4 with a quart and a half, and we had 20 acres or half the field that was a check. So this one is our check. So you can see very few secondary branches or bilateral ranch branching, some guys call it. Um, this one, on the other hand, this is a quart. This is a quart of Nutrihants. This is a check. And you can see there's a, there's a major difference here, guys. This is a quart and a half. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's much more noduling, much larger root system many more secondary branches with fruiting on it than the check. You can see there's a, there's a huge difference here, guys. Hear the passion in your voice there. You're so excited <laughs> about that because that root, root growth was phenomenal. Bert, let's talk more about that product and the foliar products. Sure. So, you know, to be honest with you, Nutrihance, we thought it was originally going to be an in product. Um, you know, it, it was designed to help prevent uh, fertilizers from getting tied up so that they remain available to the plant. And, uh, of course, in the, you know, the way we conduct our trials, we, we did in furrow, and then we also made an over-the-top application. And what surprised us was that we had a better you know, better response in a, in a foliar application. Um, so it kind of surprised us. We went back and we took a look and realized that a lot of the things that are in Nutrihance um, not only work well for the soil, but they also work well for the plant itself. So being able to have it applied foliar gave us some unexpected benefits. And now we don't even really worry about the infera part of it. We, we recommended foliar, um, but it, it, it is, a very exciting product and, and because we work with a lot of different growers that have different management systems and whatnot and if they're using dry fertilizer or things like that, this is a product that can really help them get more of that fertilizer dollar from that dry so it doesn't get tied up and it doesn't leach or it doesn't volatilize. So it's, it's, it's a really neat product and just think it's going to do great. Great results there. All right, we have our next caller. We have Mike from Missouri. Mike, what would you like to ask? I wanted to know what the lead time is for an agronomist to come to my farm and look at 
uh, look at what I have going on. And then when, where can I find more information? All right, good question. Well, I'll, I'll be happy to answer that. You know, uh, well, obviously we're based in Charleston, Missouri, so you're probably not very far from us. And then uh, one of our sales reps is in uh, right there close, and then the other one is just outside of St. Louis. Uh, and then we have an agronomist in uh, Perryville, Missouri. So you're fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it doesn't really matter where you are in the continental United States. We don't waste time getting to people. Um, you, you said it a while ago, the passion. Uh, the one thing that I will say about our team, regardless if it's the people in the field, the agronomist, the people in our warehouse that, that, that make the products, the people that ship the products. And uh, like one of our guys said, you know, on the thing said, you know, we work Saturdays and Sundays. Most manufacturers don't do that, deliver it. We work late at night. And uh, we get to where we need to go because uh, that's, that's, that's our passion about it. We're excited to be doing what we're doing, and, and everybody's excited about what we have. Well, like our but, owner says, yeah, you don't, we don't, farmers and ranchers don't take a day off. That's <laughs> so right. you got to be right out there with them. If it wants more information, um, yeah. conceptagritech.com is a great place to go. Um, phone numbers are on there, so you can give us a call. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, but as Trey said, we can probably get to you fairly quickly. So Yeah. Right. Not going to waste any time doing that. We have another caller. It's Henry from New Jersey. Henry, thank you for joining us tonight. What's your question? Um, we raise processing tomatoes. We have 300 acres of processing tomatoes, and we were interested, I'm interested in, in advancing our yields even more, either through foliar or bio bugs. You know, I've been watching the program here. What can he do? Sure. Go ahead. This is we, good. We, we enjoy tomatoes. So. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. You, you, you can do this. We, we've had a lot of experience with tomatoes. Um, everything from people that are growing for, you know, fresh market to, you know, processing tomatoes. And, you know, the, the biology really helps a tremendous amount with that plant. But one of the key things that really we discovered is how important cowboy is to a tomato plant. Um, you know, obviously you want that tomato plant to produce a lot of flowers. So the boron aspect of it is, is, is good for that because that's one of boron's first roles is, is helping create the, both parts of, of the flower, both the male and the female, so that uh, they mature together so that you get complete pollination. Then, you know, the real critical part of it with tomatoes is trying to balance the nitrogen. So that's where the calcium comes in because nitrogen tends to collect in the new growth. And a lot of people have what, you know, they call blossom in rot or, you know, they blow out. And having that calcium in that plant allows you to retain those flowers so that you don't wind up losing them because you, your nitrogen goes to the sensitive tissue. So yes, we definitely can help you out with your tomatoes. Um, we love them, and one of the great benefits of cowboy is, combined with the biology, is the fact that you're going to get a much better flavor complex because these micronutrients plus the biology really enhances those flavonoids that, you know, when people eat a tomato, they want that tomato taste. All right, very good. We've got about 45 seconds left. I want to give you a chance to give us some final thoughts on what you've got planned at Concept Agritech. Oh, uh, well, it uh, is very exciting, uh, as they always say, that I uh, come up with way too many ideas. But, uh, you know, our farmers come up with a tremendous amount of ideas. Our pipeline is, is full of uh, exciting products. We have a nematicide that we, uh, uh, EPA registered uh, nematicide, we tested on about six or 7,000 acres last year that was Fantastic. We've got a whole lot of n more new products in the pipeline, and we're looking forward to getting them on the farms. And right, we can't wait to have you back here and talk about those new products. You have a good night.